Barbara and I were shipmates. I first met her on board a steamship, in fact the last great transatlantic ocean liner powered by steam, where I was working as an officer. The very first time I saw her, she was sat on a sun lounger on the forward end of the boat deck, a relatively secluded location, engrossed in one of her beloved books. After seeing her there a couple of times, I gave a polite hello, and there commenced nearly three decades of a deep friendship. We quickly discovered we had a shared home port, of course, of New York City. In those days, I was lucky enough to make numerous calls each year to the, uh, to the port of New York. As I'm sure everybody gathered here will well know, Barbara was certainly a great advocate of New York City. So she took it upon herself to educate this relatively ignorant Yorkshireman of the virtues, stories and history of New York City. And we shared several trips to, uh, to visit various hidden treasures. And it was on one such trip that we shared our next voyage together, which was on the clunky old ferry between Battery Point and Governor's Island, where Barbara had graciously invited me for lunch in the officer's mess of what was then the Coast Guard base. We did share several more ocean voyages together, and there's one particular point that always stood out in my memory. That whilst Barbara obviously appreciated and enjoyed the various ports of call, the place where she was at her most happy and peaceful was when the vessel was at sea and she was tucked away in that secluded corner of the boat deck with a good read, the sea air and the solitude and calm that only the ocean can bring. I often used to joke with her that she spotted more ships on the horizon than I did. She was certainly not the typical cruise ship passenger, tending to shy away from some of the hustle, bustle and glamour of glitz. Instead, she was somebody who preferred the slow, traditional pace of ocean liner travel, at perhaps a rarity nowadays. It's very fitting that her final voyage is to New York City, and I can only conclude this address with Barbara Bon Voyage. <laughs>